In this video, I'm going to share with you a simple way to start finding cash buyers online. Coming right up. Hey everybody, it's Jamel Gibbs with the REI Education Academy, helping you close deals consistently in your real estate investing business. And on this channel, what we do are real estate investing how-to videos and tutorials, as well as videos of me actually investing in real estate. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And at any point in the video, if I mention any resources, those resources will be linked in the description box below in case you wanna get started with them right away. So let's go ahead and jump into today's video. All right, so today what I'm gonna do is share with you a simple resource that you can use in order to start finding buyers. Really effective strategy that I've been implementing for several years at this point. And surprisingly, a lot of people don't know about this resource. I've only ever shared this resource with coaching students, with people who've purchased a, a program from me or with someone who've been to one of my live events. And I wanted to share this resource with you today because it's a really effective tool to start finding buyers today. Okay, so with that said, we're gonna hop on to my computer. I'm gonna share this resource with you, show you exactly how to use it, and then after, I'll be right back with you. All right, so we're here on GoSection8.com. So whether you're doing virtual wholesaling or you're doing local wholesaling, this is a great tool to use in order to, number one, start doing market research if you're brand new, or number two, start finding more buyers in your local area. Now, let's just say, for example, I wanted to search in a virtual market for buyers. Uh, let's just say Jacksonville, Florida. If I typed in Jacksonville, Florida, and I click on search, what's gonna happen is a list of properties are actually gonna show up on the page, all right? You can see that there's 83 listings here. So what this tells me is that there's 83 potential people here for me to contact and add them to my buyers list, all right? Now, the good thing about this website is you can literally find out as much information as you want by getting access to these properties and the, and the property information. What do I mean by that? Well, let's just say, for example, I wanted to start searching for property owners who are looking to purchase more real estate in a particular market. Let's just, or let's just say I'm completely fresh in the Jacksonville market and I wanted to start reaching out to individuals to see if I could build a relationship with them. Guess what I have? I have property addresses on this website. So if I click on this here, you'll notice that uh, it's a three bedroom, one and a half bath going for $1,200 a month. But more important than that, I have property addresses. So I can literally take this property address, go to the tax assessor's website and do some research on this particular property to see who the owner of the property is. I can then go ahead and find out how many properties they own, how much they paid for these properties, if they paid cash by looking at the deed. I can find out if uh, they took out a loan on the property or not. As much information as I want, I can find out on a tax assessor's website. It's all public record. All right. So I have the property address and I know that this particular uh, owner of this property is active because they're on GoSection8.com. But it gets even better. Guess what? I can scroll down and guess what I have? I have the property owners or the property managers, uh, depending on who posted this property. I have their contact phone number right here. All right. So I can literally pick up the phone today and contact Han Din in order to see if they're interested in purchasing more properties in the area. I can also send them a message right here. And the good thing about having the property address is, again, just doing some research, uh, I can find out how many properties they own. So that tells me how active they really are in the market. I can also start searching for properties in the vicinity of this particular address, right? So 5719 Perch North Drive, if I found a property within a half mile to a mile radius, chances are Han Den will be interested in pursuing that property. And guess what I have? I have Han Den's phone number to contact them. Another good thing to keep in mind is I have pictures of the property, okay? So I can do some research to see what the property condition was before they purchased the property. I can see how long they own the property and if they put in any work in the property as well. And if I look at the pictures here, 
Uh, this is obviously a Section 8 rental property, but you can see they put in, you know, basic Home Depot or Lowe's tile. They, they're using neutral colors on the paint. Um, this is a real Home Depot or Lowe's type of renovation. I can tell by the chandelier here. You can see the chandelier in Lowe's or Home Depot. I believe this one is in Home Depot for less than 100 bucks. Uh, you can uh, just scroll into the pictures. Look, they have Formica countertops. So nothing really crazy. They have uh, inexpensive Lowe's cabinets. Nothing really crazy in this particular uh, property. In fact, I'm willing to bet they probably put $10,000 into this to make it rent ready. And now they're charging $1,200 a month to live there. But the point is, I have information, right? I have the property address. More importantly, I have the contact information. So if I'm looking at a brand new market, if I wanted to look into Jacksonville, Florida, and uh, I wanted to do some market research and also start building relationships in that market, I can uh, contact Honden and start my relationship process there. And there's 83 other listings that I can contact today as well, all at the push of a button. Right. Uh, so this is a really good resource to use. Go section eight dot com. And I can also start searching for properties around this vicinity, knowing that I have a potential party who may be interested in the property, especially if I go to the tax assessor's website and I find out how much they paid for this property. And let's just say, for example, they paid forty thousand for it. It looks to me that they put ten thousand dollars into it. OK. And. If I can get a property not too far from this one for $30,000, there's a potential $10,000 assignment fee for me in there. Okay, so uh, I can basically reverse engineer this whole thing, uh, the whole wholesale process using GoSection8.com. Going back out to the uh, main page here, uh, let's try another city. Let's just say Houston, Texas. Okay, so I'm just going to type in Houston. Texas. So we have 5839 Flamingo Drive in Houston, Texas. I can see it's a three bedroom, one bath house. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And again, I have the property owner's name or the property manager, whoever it is, uh, but it's Robin Harris. I can pick up the phone and contact Robin Harris. And even if Robin Harris is just a property manager, they can get me in contact with the owner if I have properties like this for sale. So, for example, if Robin Harris was just the uh, property manager, uh, guess who's paying her uh, or him? It would be the property owner. So if they can get me in contact with the property owner, the property owner can purchase more real estate and Robin Harris would have more properties to manage in their portfolio. OK, so uh, I would contact Robin Harris, whether it be the owner direct or whether it be a property manager uh, or I can send them a message. And again, looking at the condition of the property you know, I can get an idea of the type of work they actually put into the property. And if I have the property address, I can find out how many properties this particular owner owns. Be sure to use GoSection8.com effectively. A lot of people don't know about this resource and a lot of people don't know how to use this resource. Leave a comment below. What are some of the ways that you're using to find buyers in today's market? If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Click the notification bell so that you can get notified on our next video and I'll see you guys then.